Hi everybody, Kimberly here and today I want to show you how to make a shaker card and I also want to show you how easy it is to make a shaker card when you can die cut these 3D foam creative sheets from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. It makes the process a whole lot easier and a lot more fun. So let's talk about the shaker card I have here. Um, I have this television, it's called Dynamics Television from My Favorite Things. Um, and if you're interested in these two products, remember I always link you in the video description below the video. Um, so I've got this TV and I want to turn it into a shaker. I wanted to put some stars inside my TV screen um, to go with the sentiment. And normally when you make a shaker card, it's a lot of putsy work because you have to cut all this foam all the way around to keep everything in. And by die cutting these foam sheets, that is just so much easier. So let's get started on making the TV. I have started by cutting the outside piece of the TV and then this kind of frame part of the TV. You could just lay them together like this if you wanted to, but here's where I made the shaker. So to start with, I need to cover the top of my shaker piece, which is gonna be this piece with some acetate or just a clear transparency, whatever you have. So I go ahead and I just line my transparency up. I'm just gonna grab some scissors here and just kind of trim around. Now the reason I have to cut this by hand and why I can't cut it with a die is because it's always gonna cut the um, outside and I need to cover up the inside. And you can see it's not a real exact science. It's as close as I can get. All right, there we go. So I've got that all done. I'm gonna take some glue and go ahead and glue all the way around. And I like glue for this because it will hold a lot better. And I'm gonna be really quick about this because I just wanna show you that I'm gonna glue this in and I'm gonna set that aside to dry. I've already made one here so that we can just go ahead and continue on. So I have glued the back to this and now here's where the shaker part comes in. I need to have this raised up above the base, but I have to make sure that it's still enclosed so that the little stars that I'm gonna put on the inside don't spill out. So I'm gonna use my foam sheets. In this pack of foam sheets, you get a white one and a black one. So you can choose whichever color that you wanna use for your project. I'm gonna use white today just so that you can see it. But when I actually made my shaker card here, I used black so that you can't see any of it through the project. I'm gonna take this outside piece because that's a piece that I cut that I wanna raise. I'm gonna stick it on my cutting mat and I'm gonna put the foam face down into the raised cut edges of this dynamic. Um, it cuts easier if you do it this way because instead of having to try to cut through this backing, you're just cutting through a thinner one. So make sure that you do that. Whichever way you cut in your machine, just get that side into the cutting. I'm gonna run it through my machine. I am using a Spellbinders Grand Caliber. And so when I pass mine through, I only have to do it in one pass. Um, your machine may require you to run it through twice. And here we go. We have our foam piece and because we die cut it, it fits perfectly. So no more having to snip apart foam squares or foam tape or any of that. You have a perfectly shaped piece of foam to go underneath. So imagine anything you can die cut now, you could turn into a shaker. I'm going to peel the backing off of just one side and I'm gonna set it on to the surface instead of the other way around because I can see where I'm lining things up easier by doing it this way, making sure that I have my edges all even. And there I have the shaker part. And I can go ahead and mount it to the TV. So I'll peel the second set of backing off. And again, I'm going to go this way, forgive my head, and set it on there. So now we have our shaker TV. With my TV, I actually stuck it directly down to my card backing because of the sentiment. You might do otherwise, so you'll just have to trim a, you could do another TV on the back and keep the 
the dark colored square that falls out of the center to cover it up or maybe you'll just trim a piece of cardstock. What I did though is because I wanted to raise this up off the card again I just die cut another piece so I could perfectly match it. So I'll put the foam side down into my die and pass it through my machine one more time. And now I'll be able to mount this onto my card. So peel the backing from one side only. Stick the TV over the top like so. And I'm gonna leave the backing in place because before I set this onto my card, I'm going to want to fill my shaker. And you can fill your shaker with die cut shapes like I did here, punch shape sequins, small little beads, anything like that. Anything that you wanna fill your shaker with, you can do that. And I'm gonna peel off the backing and then and you'll get some pieces stuck and that's okay, just pull them away. What I like to do is I like to take a look at where I'm going to do it and place it this way on my card so I don't lose all my pieces. You could also go this way. It just depends on how you're working on your project and how you want to line it up. But I just thought it was easier to go this way. And now there I have it. My shaker card, my TV made super easy because I was able to die cut these foam shapes, these foam sheets, and made everything easy. So have fun making easy shaker cards.